beautiful people, Yara here, and I am about to show you my when I feel like doing makeup look. So, starting with the face mask, partially because I like to take videos and scare my brothers while wearing a face mask. Bangs go up. Bangs go back down. <laughs> and you leave this on for I think 15 minutes. However, if I'm doing something, I will easily leave this on for an hour. Oh, got some of it in my eye. <laughs> I'd have to say I really start with skincare, and the skincare is what I do on a more daily basis, whereas makeup is really more spontaneous, and depending on how I feel that day, what colors I want to see on my face, um, usually like when it's springtime, I like my face to reflect that with like a nice pop of color. I'm now rubbing in all of the extra product on this face mask. Look at borderline greasy, but it's all gonna work in a second. My skincare routine changes so often. Right now, it's a lot of it has been about moisturizing and just affects my overall energy and mood. Um, okay, next I am moisturizing with the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. And this one is really nice and thick. You can tell when I put it on, you don't need much. <laughs> no tops were harmed in the filming of this video. Using a little bit, and I think I even put more than I usually do on. So I rub it into my hands, because my hands age faster than I do. And I'm rubbing it all in. And my mother has to remind me to be gentle with my face. So I'm gonna. I think what's nice about this is that it's so thick that whenever I do a face mask, it kind of gets rid of how greasy the face mask may make me look. Now time for, ha, ah, my favorite, spray parsley. Anyone who walks into my space is getting sprayed, for sure. Now onto the part that I am for sure not a professional at, but I attempt anyway. Using foundation, this is my color right now. I am golden, and my shade changes throughout the year because my melanin changes. Sometimes I look a little more like Casper the Friendly Ghost. Sometimes I am more melanated because I've been able to be outside. I put a few squirts here because this is what I've seen other people do. Take a brush, and then I mix it in here. And usually on my day-to-day -day makeup, I really don't wear much foundation. I think you're supposed to start under your eyes, right? Using my beauty blender. I'm back with snacks! One thing I know is like, just being a teenager and all that, sometimes my forehead likes to rebel. And it's really been about how do I embrace that? So even now, oftentimes I'll apply foundation and then take some down, especially if my bangs are covering it. Or what's even better is just wiping it down to do a thin layer to begin with. My neck is never the same color as my face. So we're gonna... Okay. Under me eyes. This is scary because I don't know if I should look at you guys or I should look up. Because I curled my lashes, why not do mascara? Before I learned that people make products just for brows, I used to just put mascara on my brows. It's really been about doing this little wiggle. I don't know what it officially does, but it definitely does stop clumps from happening. Brushing up brows, which is the one thing that I do every day. I always say like my beauty icons are, of course, my mama, my nana, they're the first kind of representations I had, like what beauty is meant to me. But then also just the world at large has been people from Solange to Angela Bassett, to anybody quite honestly. I'm always saving photos. I have a binder on my phone just called Aesthetic, in which I just save photos that inspire me. Ever since I was little, I had a little hole in my brow right there. But I always castor oil. But not always. I try to castor oil my brows. Now that we've brushed them up, this is a waterproof brow shaper. Something basic for lip hydration. 
And then my favorite thing is when we have multivariate products, such as this, which I am going to attempt to apply on both my cheeks and my eyelid. See how this goes. But I'm putting it everywhere except my lips. Get a nice little smile. Whenever people do my makeup, they think it's funny because when they ask me to smile, I'll only like highlight the one cheek that they're doing. So I end up looking like this. <laughs> now I'm just gonna pat, 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 and then we'll have to pat this down a little bit. Thing is, I have pretty severe cheeks, which means sometimes blush makes them look even more pointed out. But I really just like the touch of color that this gives. I'm running out of fingers to use. I normally forget most of my brushes. I was in this situation literally yesterday where I was like, great, I have an event, it was really low key, and I have a total of one brush. So now that we're starting to blend this in, we're starting to see, you start to see what I'm going for, guys. Just added a pop of color. Now time to actually do lip color. I'm a lip gloss person. I've always been a lip gloss person. Lipstick is cool and all, and sure, you'll see me in lipstick, but lip gloss is really where it's at. It's so pigmented and moisturizing, and you can build it. And because I'm doing a totally different color on my eyes, keep it light. I usually do this, or I'll put a lot on, grab a tissue. So this is like, if I'm generally going out or wanna put makeup on, this is usually where I land. But then when you see me on Instagram, I usually have the addition of um, a colorful pencil. Well, on my page, when it comes down to what I like to share, I try and be most authentic to what's actually happening in my life, and so that means sometimes you'll get speeches that have inspired me or essays that I'm reading, and sometimes you'll get selfies, sometimes you'll get event photos, but it's just been about trying to be as authentic as possible. And the fact that that duality can exist, there's nothing precluding you from thoroughly enjoying makeup, thoroughly enjoying having fun with makeup, and also really loving a good James Baldwin speech. Okay, so I have a shape going. Now this is when it gets tricky, cause symmetry. And at this point, I usually add I ended up doing this because I would just play around with eyeliner and because your face is a palette and I like to treat it as such and even though I've never painted or anything before I find this to be so much fun I am losing control of this but never fear q-tip is here I'm gonna fix this later so first I just rough it and figure out what I feel like doing. And then I come in and clean up, because this isn't how I'm leaving the house. It may sound super cheesy, but I generally feel most beautiful when I'm listening to great music and um, I'm trying to think, with my family, listening to great music, and when I've been taking care of myself, because that, I mean, one, it usually shows through in my skin, like I can tell when I'm taking care of myself, um, and it also feels nice to always engage makeup when I want to, rather than feeling like, oh, this is mandatory for me to feel done up or professional, which is why I end up with looks like this, because I just like to have fun. Now time to actually figure out what I've done to my face calling in those small q-tips. Okay, I think we're almost there, guys. I think I'm just gonna make this line a little thinner. And it's more refined, and so, now there we are. It usually gets a little bit crazier from here, and then throughout the day, you can see things starting to be like added to my face, such as like a flower or a heart or something. But uh, this is how I do my I'm bored and I want to have fun makeup look. The amount of times I've posted me drawing on my face on Instagram, and I know half the people are like, oh, Yara's doing her thing. And then other people are like, what in the world is happening? Just to add the color here. I'll get tagged in photos when people see 
what I've done and I know I'm in no way the inventor of this but when people see it sometimes it'll be really cool because then for the next couple of days people will tag me in their iteration of it. I usually at this point put my bangs back into play and then you usually see a dance video on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> Curls could be their own video, quite honestly. This is my final fun look. Thank you for watching. Bye.